Hi, my name is Jaleen and my group is presenting on solar energy. My group consists of Sufian, Singheng, Daniel, Rahul, and myself. Moving on to introduction. What is solar energy? The sun is a powerful source of energy and provides the earth the energy that it needs. Solar energy is simply energy provided by the sun. This energy is in the form of solar radiation, which makes the production of solar electricity possible. In working principles and energy conversion, Solar power is the use of solar energy battery components directly into electrical energy. Solar power is generated by using solar panels, which are large flat panels made up of many individual solar cells. It is usually used in open areas where there is no hindrance towards the sun rays entering the solar panel. Solar energy is converted into electricity using a photovoltaic device in solar panels. Moving on to photovoltaic modules. Solar panels refer either to a photovoltaic module, a solar thermal energy panel, or to a set of solar photovoltaic modules electrically connected and mounted on a supporting structure. Solar modules use light energy from the sun to generate electricity through the photovoltaic effect. Solar modules are made of semiconductors that are very similar to those used to create integrated circuits for electronic equipment. The majority of modules use wafer-based crystalline silicon cells or thin film cells based on cadmium telluride or silicon. Photovoltaic is the direct conversion of light into electricity at the atomic level. Some materials exhibit a property known as the photoelectric effect that causes them to absorb photons of light and release electrons. When these free electrons are captured, an electric current results that can be used as electricity. In the advantages of solar energy, solar power saves you money. Putting solar panels on your roof is likely to save you tens of thousands of dollars. According to cleantechnica.com, the average 20-year savings for Americans who went solar in 2011 were projected to be a little over 20000 In the populous state of New York, California, and Florida, the projected savings were over $30,000. In the sunny but expensive paradise known as Hawaii, the projected savings were nearly $65,000. Solar power provides energy reliability. The potential of solar energy is beyond imagination. The surface of the Earth receives 120,000 terawatts of solar radiation, 20,000 times more power than what is needed to supply the entire world. The rising and setting of the sun is ex extremely consistent. All across the world, we know exactly when it will rise and set every day of the year. While clouds may be a bit less predictable, we do also have fairly good seasonal and daily projections for the amount of sunlight that will be received in different locations. All in all, this makes solar power an extremely reliable source of energy. Solar energy can be used in multiple applications. It can be used to generate electricity in places that lack a grid connection, for the sling water in Africa, or even to power satellites in space. Many everyday items, such as calculators and other low power consuming devices, can be powered by the solar energy effect. In the disadvantages of solar energy, solar power requires space. Regions with foggy and cloudy weather will produce lower rate of electricity and would require more solar panels to produce enough electricity for usage. For example, solar panels are usually placed in open areas with clear skies. As properties that are hindered by trees or buildings prevent sunlight from entering the solar panel. This stops the solar panels from generating electricity. Solar power is associated with pollution. While solar power certainly is less polluting than fossil fuels, some problems do exist. 
Photovoltaic panels are composed of silicon and other harmful metals such as mercury, lead and cadmium. Environmental pollution can cause low efficiency and quality of photovoltaic cells. Also, some manufacturing processes are associated with greenhouse gas emissions. Nitrogen trifluoride and sulfur hexafluoride has been traced back to the production of solar panels. The bottom line is, there's nothing that's completely risk-free in the energy world, but solar power compares very favorably with all other technologies. Solar energy is unreliable. It is an intermittent energy source. Access to sunlight is limited at certain times. Predicting overcast days can be difficult. Solar panels are useless during the night. In case solar energy is insufficient, we have to depend on local utility grid for power in the night. This is why solar power is not our first choice when it comes to meeting the base load energy demand. However, solar power has fewer problems than wind power when it comes to intermittence. The initial cost of buying and fixing up the solar panel is relatively expensive and people brush away the idea of solar panels immediately. In conclusion, solar energy is preferred as the alternative source of energy, as it provides the earth the energy that it needs. Solar grid that stored the energy can be used during the night. It helps consumers to save energy and appreciate the source of nature. With consumers able to save energy, it also helps them to save costs. Therefore, solar energy is the best option for the source of energy. We have come to the end of our presentation on solar energy. Thank you.